Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. Today I'm going to show you how you can create wind zones in your scenes in order to add a wind effect to your game. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. And if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. Now, Unity allows you to create wind on your terrains by adding one or more objects with a wind zone component. All the trees inside the wind zone will bend in a realistic animated fashion. The wind itself moves in pulses, which helps to create the natural patterns of movement among the trees. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the island I created in the previous videos. And now, to add a wind zone effect to our scene, you can either create a specific game object for the task or you can simply add it to an existing game object. Uh, in our case, I'm going to create a brand new game object. Let's see... Oh. There is the island. Let's try to move a little bit closer, we got a little away. Come on, come on. Okay, so yeah, here we have our island. And let's get a little bit closer. The camera is kind of messed up today. Okay, so for example, let's use this area because we have. Uh, we have some grass and we have some trees, ok, so let's create a new game object so game object, create empty and here we have our game object let's call it wind ok, and now what we are going to do is to add the wind zone component to our game object so we search for wind zone, here we have it and now we basically have our wind in let me just make sure we actually can move it to a place where you can see it yeah, now you can see it. So, uh, as you can see, we have now a, a narrow symbol in our game object. This is the doing zone component. Now, uh, if we take a closer look to the wind zone component, we can see that we have several parameters that we can adjust. The first one is the mode, which can be directional or spherical. So. If you have the spherical mode, instead of the arrow, you'll have a sphere in your scene. Okay? And if you have directional, you have an arrow. So, what's the difference between these two modes? Well, the directional mode makes the wind affect the whole terrain at once, while the spherical mode makes the wind blow outwards within the sphere of the defining within the radius of the sphere so for example in directional if you change it to spherical now you can define the radius of the sphere so again the difference is in directional it will affect the whole terrain in the spherical only the area inside the radius of the sphere now directional winds are more useful for creating um, natural movement of the trees while the spherical winds are more suitable for special effects like explosions now the next parameter are main wind and uh, turbulence the main property determines the overall strength of the wind while the turbulence allows you to give the a little random variations to the wind strength and finally 
The next two parameters are pulse magnitude and pulse frequency. This allows you to control the wind pulses in order to get a more natural effect. The strength of the pulses is defined by the, the pulse magnitude, while the time interval between the wind pulses is set by the pulse frequency. Ok, so let's create uh, some natural wind in our scene. Let's first change the mode to directional. Next, let's set the main to 1, we already have that, and for example the turbulence, let's set it to 0 0.1. And now for pulse, we can actually change the pulse magnitude to 1 and the frequency to 0.25. And let's set the camera on this area, so main camera, game object, align with view, and let's press play. Now we should be able to see the grass move, yeah, as you can see, we can see the, the trees moving as well as the grass. I think that we have a little bit too much wind, you see the, the trees are actually moving a lot, so for example just to show you guys the difference, if we turn this off, as you can see the trees are not moving at all, but we want wind on, so I guess our wind is too strong, so let's change this for 0.5 and try again still I think that uh, the wind is too strong maybe we should reduce the frequency for example to 0.05 0.05 and let's see what happens yeah it's a little bit better but still still I think too much wind let's reduce the turbulence a little bit as well 0.05 and let's try it Yeah, a little bit better, but I'm not satisfied with it yet, so let's reduce the magnitude to 0 0.5. Yeah, it's a little better, but still I have a, a better solution for this instead of actually uh, and you can guys use this this is actually a, a good a good idea if you guys need to tweak some values in order to get the right ones um, let's turn maximize on play on and now while we are on play we can actually change the values in real time in order to see uh, which values we actually want, so let's change the wind frequency now we have minus values, no 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 0 0.1, let's change the let me just perhaps it's the main actually change it to yeah as you guys can see now now we have so 0 0.15 0 0.15 0 0.05 
0 0.01, 0 0.01. Now we can actually 1.0. One, this one is not like this. 5 and 15. And now Yeah, just perfect. So you have a very smooth wind in your scene. And that's it. This is how you create uh, some nice wind to your terrain. Um, like I said, you can always just adjust the values of the wind, just like I did. And here you have it. This is how you use wind zones in Unity 5. Hope you guys enjoy it. See you in the next tutorial. Until then, have a nice day.